This is me performing a launchpad cover with my own MIDI light show devices. I call them the light grids. These prototypes are completely compatible with Ableton and are just as easy to program as the launchpad. Before you, there are multiple different completed prototypes. These devices are full RGB LED grids that are far brighter and more evenly lit than the launchpad and similar light show devices. In this video, you will see the steps that I took to build these devices and exactly how you can build one yourself. Each one costs about $50 to make, more than $80 cheaper than the Launchpad MK2, Novation's popular MIDI controller. In the description, I will provide the link to the Arduino project, which is a modified version of Martiazzi's Under Lights code. In this program, you can adjust brightness and program the light grid in any way you like. These devices have been designed to be as customizable as possible. Before I get into all the functions that this device has, let's go back to the beginning, when I first started designing the light grid. Opening up AutoCAD, I started designing the pieces of the light grids. They are made up of a base, four walls, a middle platform where the LEDs sit, dividers to separate the LEDs, and the lid mechanism. I conducted experiments to find what height the dividers needed to be in order to light each pixel evenly. I found that the optimal height was around 18mm, but 12mm looked pretty nice and yielded a much slimmer final build. On one of the walls there is a hole for the micro USB connection to the microcontroller for communicating with the computer. I exported the AutoCAD project as a PDF that can be found in the description of this video and laser cut the design into 3mm MDF. Now that I had all of the wood parts, it was time for me to buy the electronics. The entire list is incredibly simple, consisting of just a Teensy Duino microcontroller, wires, and a WS2812B LED strip from eBay. Of course, you would also need a soldering iron, solder, and wire strippers gotten back from printing the pieces for the light grid Mark II. Here's the Mark I, which is a 10x10 10 10 grid. And here are the pieces of the Mark II, with a very fancy lid and all this cool stuff. This is my actual launch pad, this is the knockoff, and I will just assemble it right now. And there we have it, a rough assembly of the Matrix MK2, beautiful lid, and... We have this matrix thing so that the lights can be separated and you can see that the LEDs aren't actually in the middle of each square because it's made of two strips that are separated. I decided on this matrix to actually physically wire the LEDs in the order that the launch pad has them in the user one mode. So for the drum roll. These are the WS2812B LED strips. I've just cut this old one up. There's only a couple LEDs left, and I cut them into 16 force pixel long strips, which I'm going to be lining on this, what's it called, a light grid. So I pull this off and stick it on, and you will see what that looks like right now. These are several time lapses of me wiring everything together. Honestly, the most brutal part of this project is cutting, stripping, and soldering over 200 wire connections. This is the schematic I made. As you can see, it is very simple, but it uses a crap ton of wires. Hopefully, in the future, I could have all the LEDs and microcontroller on one board. I find it interesting how my light grid prototypes resemble the progress that the electronics industry made decades ago. From being all wired by hand like I am doing now, to being mass produced onto printed circuit boards. This is what a TV looked like on the inside 50 years ago, before printed circuit boards were used. Here is what a TV looks like with printed circuit boards. Hopefully, I can make progress like that. Anyway, this schematic will be included in the description. These are the WS2812B LED strips. I've just cut this old one up. There's only a couple LEDs left, and I cut them into 16 force pixel long strips which I'm going to be lining on this, what's it called, a light grid. So I pull this off and stick it on, and you will see what that looks like right now. 
Bang. Here we go. Next thing I'm gonna do is solder it. After everything is wired, I glued every piece together except one piece that I can take out to service the device if anything goes wrong. Bang! Look at it! It's so cool! It's so cool! I created a little gap between the locking mechanism for the lid and the dividers for the lights to slip in a cutout piece of film paper to diffuse the light. I also tried it with plain white paper and that worked almost as well. This concluded the construction of the entire device. Now I will show you how to install the code that I wrote. If you want to skip this section, go to the timestamp on the screen. To upload my code to the device, download the Teensy Duino software according to the instruction on the Teensy webpage linked in the description. Copy and paste my Teensy code into the text editor and install the Adafruit NeoPixels library under Sketch, Include Library, Manage Library. This is required to control the LEDs. To upload the code to the light grid, go to Tools, Board, Teensy LC, and select the Teensy LC under Tools, Port, and select MIDI as your signal type. Once you upload code, you will never have to do so again. And if I end up selling these devices, the code will come pre-installed, so you won't even have to install the software at all. To use the device, Plug it into your computer, and the startup animation should go. Go into Ableton's MIDI settings, and turn on all the MIDI in and out settings for the device. Now the device works identically to the launchpad, and can even be controlled by other MIDI controllers, just like the launchpad lights can. Now, to show you how incredibly sick these light grids are, I created this short snippet of an upcoming launchpad cover for you guys. This video was actually a response to the support from my Cooper Rode Launchpad performance. That video achieved the view goal that I set in the comments, and it was Spinzex that reminded me that the goal was met. Instead of making a video about these 10x10 grids, I decided to make a second prototype of the light grids, and make a video about them instead. I had an incredible time designing, manufacturing, and programming the light grids, and sharing this journey with you guys. I highly recommend starting random projects like this yourself, no matter how inexperienced you are. Before I started making these devices, I was an inexperienced programmer and had no electronics experience at all. But after watching a crap ton of YouTube videos, talking to friends and helpful people in the Launchpad community, such as Matiazzi and Lumen, I learned super useful skills that I will hopefully use for future projects. Please contact me! if you have any trouble making something similar, or if you want to work with me to make other cool LED devices. My Discord is Noatunes Launchpad, hashtag 6791, and I am always open to talking about projects. This has been Noatunes Launchpad. Make sure to click on the subscribe button and click the bell icon to be notified whenever I upload a video. Leave a comment if you want, I make sure to read all of them. Thank you so much for watching.